North Korea, known for its secretive and strict society, is often in the spotlight due to rare images that show the tough conditions there, from propaganda photos to those showing. Clear contrasts between the lives of the elite and the struggles of ordinary citizens Join us as we talk about some of the most shocking photos that no one was supposed to see but were smuggled out of North Korea. Let's get started. 24. The Border Gunship In North Korea, individuals attempting perilous border crossings face formidable challenges, akin to the courage displayed by East Germans before the fall of the Berlin Wall. The authorities are resolute in controlling borders, employing armed guards, watchtowers, and electronic surveillance along land borders. Sea patrols complement these measures, ready to intercept any attempts to escape by sea. Special gunships, designed for border patrol, play a crucial role, along with vigilant sentinels in observation posts. The secrecy surrounding North Korea further complicates the world's understanding of the border reality, tightly controlled and restricted by the regime. 23. Barbed Wire Fences In a surprising incident, a North Korean man in his 20s was apprehended on the South Korean side of the heavily fortified border, suspected of defecting. The daring escape involved the use of a diving suit and fins, suggesting he may have swum across the border. Located at the eastern zone of the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, near Goseong, the man was tracked for three hours before being captured. Authorities are currently conducting an investigation to determine if he is a civilian or a military member and to understand the details of his escape. The man reportedly crawled through a drainage tunnel, avoiding barbed wire fences, which were not properly protected, signaling a potential security breach. This incident follows a similar case in November when a North Korean defector, a former gymnast, jumped over the border fence. In response to that incident, South Korea's military announced plans to check and reinforce all sensors at the inter-Korean border. The heightened border security measures implemented by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un have made defections through the DMZ challenging with potential severe consequences for those attempting the risky journey. 22. No internet access. Navigating the internet in North Korea is like trying to find your way through a maze. It's not a stroll down the digital avenue for everyone, only a select few get the green light to browse the World Wide Web. Want to know the kicker? It's not just about slow connections, it's a whole approval process. Imagine needing a hall pass every time you want to surf the net. And it's not just any pass, it's a days-long ordeal. Once you finally get the go-ahead, guess what? There's someone lurking over your virtual shoulder, monitoring every click. But that's not the real kicker, it's the limited access. Think of it as having a VIP pass, but you can only enter a few rooms. For most North Koreans, the internet is a distant dream, and the digital divide is wider than ever. So while we're cruising through the information highway, spare a thought for those stuck in the internet traffic jam of North Korea. 21. Worst airline in the world. Air Koryo, North Korea's sole airline, has gained a notorious reputation as the world's worst airline, earning a one-star rating from Skytrax, a private airline and airport review website. While Skytrax has since changed its rating to airline not rated, the stigma persists in travel blogs and tabloids. Despite its negative reputation, flying with Air Corio has its unique perks. The airline, being state-owned with no competition, serves as the national flag carrier of North Korea. Travelers may experience the airline's newer international aircraft, acquired between 2007 and 2015, or opt for domestic flights on well-maintained older planes from the Soviet era known for their spacious legroom. The air hostesses, despite language challenges, excel in presentation and politeness. The in-flight meal, humorously dubbed the Mystery Burger, features an indistinguishable Soviet-style meat patty, later identified as pork. Vegetarian options are available for the two-and-a-half-hour flight between Beijing and Pyongyang. However, Air Koryo has its flaws, 
including the absence of a frequent flyer program, restrictions on photography during flights, and the recent discontinuation of alcohol service with lunch. Despite these drawbacks, Air Corio's unique experience and role as North Korea's only airline make it a distinct choice for those traveling to the DPRK. 20. Dark Nights North Korea faces persistent energy shortages evident in striking satellite photos showing the country largely dark at night. While neighboring South Korea and China shine brightly, North Korea experiences frequent power shutdowns due to inadequate electricity supply. In the 1990s, the Soviet Union severed its energy support, exacerbating the issue. The contrast is stark, with South Koreans consuming 10,162 kilowatt hours of power per person yearly, while North Koreans use only 739. Entire streets shut down and residents retire early due to the lack of activities in darkness. In response to criticism, North Korea's state-run newspaper, the Rodong Sinmun, dismisses concerns about the lack of lights, stating that societal essence isn't in flashy lights. Despite advancements in its weapons program, the country, nearly 70 years since its founding, grapples with chronic energy deficits as highlighted by nighttime satellite images. 19. Starvation North Korea is facing a severe food crisis, sparking concerns of widespread starvation reminiscent of the devastating 1990s famine. Trade data, satellite images, and international assessments indicate that the food supply has fallen below the minimum human needs, raising fears of hunger, related deaths, even with equal distribution. The country's isolation and closed borders, intensified during the pandemic, exacerbate the situation. Despite North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's recent focus on revamping the agricultural sector, experts attribute the crisis to years of economic mismanagement, isolationist policies, and prioritizing military activities over addressing humanitarian needs. The government's crackdown on borders hampers unofficial trade, heightening the crisis. The government's refusal of international aid and emphasis on missile tests further worsen the humanitarian crisis, leaving ordinary citizens in a precarious state. 18. Kidnapped to make films In 1978, South Korean film director Shin Sang-ok and his wife, actress Choi Eun-hee, were abducted by North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. This state-sponsored kidnapping aimed to elevate North Korea's film industry on the international stage. Coerced into creating films for Kim Jong-il over eight years, the couple became unwitting pawns in the leader's pursuit of artistic recognition. Their escape, in 1986, marked the end of their forced collaboration. The documentary The Lovers and the Despot unveils secret recordings made during their captivity, exposing Kim Jong-il's frustration with the lack of creativity in North Korean cinema and his hunger for international acclaim. This tragic period sheds light on North Korea's control and repression of artists and raises concerns about over 500 individuals from South Korea potentially being kidnapped for various purposes. 17. The Secret Female Army In North Korea's clandestine military world, women face daunting challenges. Conscripted into mandatory service, they endure harsh conditions, physical punishments, and inadequate hygiene resources. 16. Unsafe construction. Photographs smuggled out of North Korea expose alarming construction methods in the country's ambitious building projects. The images, taken in August 2011, depict the construction of the Changjon Street apartment complex in Pyongyang. Completed in under a year, engineering experts express grave concerns about the safety of the buildings, pointing to misaligned windows, flimsy steel rebar, and poor quality concrete. The haste in construction, dubbed Masikryong Speed by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, raises doubts about structural integrity. The recent collapse of a 23-floor apartment block in Pyongyang underscores potential risks associated with shoddy construction practices. Historical satellite images indicate overlapping construction timelines, 
suggesting a systemic issue in North Korea's construction industry. Experts warn that these revelations might not be isolated incidents. 15. Otto Warmbier Have you heard about Otto Warmbier? It's an intense story. Otto, an American college student, went on a tour to North Korea in 2015. Things took a crazy turn when he got arrested for allegedly trying to steal a propaganda poster. He ended up sentenced to 15 years of hard labor and suffered a severe neurological injury, falling into a coma. The North Korean authorities claimed it was because of botulism and a sleeping pill, but it's all kind of sketchy. After 17 months in captivity, he was released back to the US, still in a coma. Sadly, he never woke up, and his parents had to make the heartbreaking decision to remove his feeding tube. 14. Homeless people on streets. In North Korea, economic sanctions, border closures, and bad weather have created a perfect storm, impacting food supplies significantly. The regime faces a substantial drop in local grain production, worsening the already dire food situation. Instead of easing up, the government tightens its grip on grain distribution, disrupting private markets that people have relied on since the 90s famine. This move, while temporarily stabilizing, raises concerns about long-term impacts on agriculture and the overall economy. Beyond food, a growing homelessness crisis adds to the challenges. The government's response involves cracking down on the homeless, fearing both security threats and a negative image for their brand of socialism. 13. Kim Jong-Gilia Festival The 23rd Kim Jong-Gilia Festival in Pyongyang, scheduled from February 14th to 21, is a highly anticipated event commemorating the late father of the current leader. This festival showcases the unique flower named after him, time to coincide with his February 16th birthday known locally as the Day of the Shining Star. Despite the festivities, reports from Radio Free Asia RFA suggest discontent among some North Koreans due to perceived excesses in celebrating the event. Challenges in cultivating the sensitive Kim jong gilia flower, which requires specific conditions, have led to criticisms of extravagant spending on imported equipment. According to an anonymous source from North Korea's South Pyongan province, Residents across provinces were compelled to contribute supplies for Kim Il-sungia, Kim jong gilia greenhouses. This has fueled dissatisfaction, raising concerns over the government's priorities and resource allocation. The Kim jong gilia flower, introduced in 1988, holds political significance and remains a symbol associated with North Korean leadership. The festival's preparations and expenses have sparked local dissatisfaction, questioning the government's priorities. 12. Alleged pictures of Kim Jong-un being sick. A few years ago, speculations surrounding Kim Jong-un's health created conflicting reports, turning the situation into a real-life mystery thriller. While Hong Kong Satellite Television's vice director, Shi Jian Xingzu, claimed a very solid source said he was already dead, Japanese media suggested a heart surgery scenario. Adding to the intrigue, satellite images showed his private train near his Wonsan holiday compound, leaving the world in suspense. Social media was flooded with the hashtag Kim Jong Undead, emphasizing the global anticipation for the next plot twist in this unfolding drama. Alleged pictures showing Kim Jong Un being sick and lying in a hospital bed also made their rounds on the internet. With conflicting reports and no official confirmation, it became increasingly challenging to separate fact from fiction. The uncertainty surrounding Kim Jong-un's health kept the international community on edge. 11. Cistern in Bathroom The following photo captures an intriguing facet of daily life, a toilet tank in a typical North Korean bathroom. In a region where mystery often veils the ordinary, this seemingly mundane image holds significance for North Korean citizens. The focus here is on the essential role played by these toilet tanks. They serve as crucial reservoirs for collecting water used in flushing. This practice, while appearing commonplace, gains prominence in a region where access to water is limited. The discreet sharing of such photos with the world offers a rare glimpse into spaces 
that are usually shielded from external view. The architect's intentional choice to highlight the practicality of using bathtubs primarily for water storage rather than for bathing adds another layer to this narrative. This design feature underscores the resourcefulness demanded by the challenges of water scarcity in North Korea. The photo, originating from an undisclosed source within the country, provides viewers with insights into the daily life of North Koreans, emphasizing how even seemingly mundane aspects carry a deeper significance in the context of their unique circumstances. 10. Kids having fun in the middle of the road, in the urban environment where cars are increasingly spreading throughout Pyongyang, the following image depicts children boldly using the large avenues as their playground. Despite cars becoming ubiquitous in Pyongyang, children continue to play in the midst of main avenues, just as they did before cars appeared. Their carefree spirit and bravery challenged imposed restrictions, and the limited number of vehicles on the streets offers them some relief during risky games. 9. Propaganda Computer A clandestine photograph from North Korea exposes a striking disparity between propaganda and reality. In an attempt to showcase technological advancement, a girl is seen feigning the use of a computer despite the clear absence of electricity. This carefully staged scene sheds light on the regime's endeavors to project progress while grappling with infrastructural challenges. The contrast between the depiction of someone typing on a keyboard and the evident power outage emphasizes the orchestrated nature of such presentations. Despite guides encouraging visitors to capture these scenes, the underlying truth of limited resources and living conditions in North Korea becomes apparent in these covert images. They reveal a society struggling to reconcile its image with the harsh realities of everyday life, where staged portrayals often sharply diverge from actual circumstances. 8. Shopping Mall for Elite in North Korea An exclusive report sheds light on the stark contrast between the lives of North Korea's privileged elite in Pyongyang and the country's impoverished regions. According to officials and residents, there is a surge in demand for luxury goods among the privileged inner circle, accentuating the socio-economic disparities within the nation. A high-ranking official reveals that elite North Koreans in the capital are living excessively luxurious lives, with high-end department store shelves quickly emptying after restocking. Notably, Items such as a $2,000 or €1,700 one-piece dress from U.S. fashion house St. John are equivalent to the cost of 2 tons or 1.8 tons of rice or 5 tons or 4 tons of corn, vital resources in a nation grappling with food shortages. The popularity of imported luxury items, including Chanel stockings, perfumes and Rolex watches, indicates a growing trend among the well-to-do in Pyongyang. The report also highlights that two department stores in Pyongyang selling lavish products were opened by Jiang Song Thek, the uncle of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un Seven, getting a haircut. In North Korea, getting a haircut is not merely a personal choice, it's a matter of state regulation. The government has approved a list of 28 sanctioned hairstyles, consisting of 18 for women and 10 for men, dictating citizens' permissible choices. Unmarried women are restricted to short, above-the-shoulder styles, while married women have slightly more options, including curls and longer styles. For men, the maximum allowed hair length is set at 2 inches, approximately 5 centimeters, emphasizing short hair as a health measure. Older men, those over 60, can extend to 3 inches, approximately 7.5 centimeters. The government reinforces these regulations by requiring young men under 18 to trim their hair every 15 days. This strict control over personal appearance is not a recent phenomenon in North Korea. The government has previously aired a series on haircut guidelines, emphasizing conformity that extends to one's hairstyle. It remains unclear whether the current leader, Kim Jong-un, follows these guidelines or if his distinctive high-and-tight style is exempt from the state-approved list. 
The state's involvement even extends to educational programming, as evidenced by a five-part series on how to maintain hair in line with communist values. 6. North Korean Defector The story of a North Korean defector, Oh Chong Song, captured global attention in November 2017 when he attempted a daring escape across the heavily fortified, demilitarized zone DMZ. The escape, caught on surveillance cameras, witnessed Oh being shot five times by his North Korean colleagues as he fled, but luckily he survived. In his first US TV interview, Oh expressed understanding, stating that if he were in their situation, he would have done the same. The escape, involving a dramatic jeep chase and a subsequent foot race, concluded with South Korean soldiers rescuing him near the DMZ. Despite being shot and facing grim consequences, Oh miraculously survived the ordeal. Upon examination, doctors found parasitic worms in his body, possibly indicating poor conditions in North Korea. The United Nations Command reported violations of the Korean War armistice during the pursuit, highlighting the tensions prevalent on the Korean Peninsula at that time. 5. Soldier Smoking On Sundays, soldiers typically known for their impeccable behavior in public showcase a more laid-back demeanor, with one even seen smoking a cigarette while hanging out. North Korea is renowned for its strict military rules and discipline expected from its soldiers. The photos depict an unusually relaxed atmosphere, contrary to the one usually presented to the public. Although soldiers in North Korea must maintain strict discipline during the work week, Sundays seem to have slightly more relaxed rules. Photos smuggled out of North Korea provide an incredibly rare insight into the lives of soldiers in a country known for its secrecy and stringent controls. Sunday's casual moments, such as smoking cigarettes while hanging out, remind us that even in the most serious military regimes, there are moments of humanity and relaxation. 4. Sleeping on duty Photographer Eric Laforgue courageously delves into the reality of North Korea, surpassing constraints and going beyond organized tourist trips to capture genuine moments of everyday life. During his sixth visit in 2012, armed with a 300 meme lens, he documented interactions with citizens and officials, unveiling the warmth and curiosity of North Koreans, thereby challenging prevailing stereotypes. One compelling image stands out, portraying a man peacefully napping on a church bench. Despite the presence of Christian churches, their true nature remains elusive. Religions are banned, and it is speculated that these churches might be orchestrated with paid actors to showcase a facade of religious freedom for tourists. This photograph underscores the strict control over public image in North Korea and the dangers associated with portraying the country in a negative light. The images not only reveal the warmth and curiosity of North Koreans, but also shed light on the repressive nature of the regime, where any form of dissent can result in severe consequences. Concerns have surfaced on social media regarding the man in the picture, with fears of potential repercussions. This situation brings into focus the challenging circumstances faced by individuals in North Korea, where any expression of dissent can lead to grave reprisals. In such an environment, how one would react becomes a complex and pressing question. 3. Showing wealth is forbidden. In the enigmatic landscape of North Korea, a distinctive social norm prevails, where the display of both poverty and wealth is strictly forbidden. This prohibition serves a dual purpose in the tightly controlled society. On one hand, the concealment of poverty aims to present a facade of unity and prosperity to the outside world. The regime seeks to project an image of a harmonious society where all citizens enjoy a comparable standard of living. The suppression of visible signs of destitution helps maintain a positive image and shields the nation from potential criticism. On the other hand, the prohibition of flaunting wealth is rooted in the desire to avoid stirring discontent among the population. North Korea, being a communist state, 
places a premium on the idea of equality. Displaying opulence could incite resentment among citizens, revealing stark social and economic disparities that contradict the ideals of the regime. Therefore, the suppression of visible indicators of wealth helps to mitigate social tensions and perpetuate the illusion of a classless society. In this context, the conspicuous automobile captured in the photograph becomes a clandestine symbol of affluence, hidden from public view to maintain the carefully crafted image of a unified and egalitarian North Korea. 2. Human Waste as Fertilizer North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has imposed an unrealistic daily quota of 200 pounds or 90 kilograms of human manure per citizen to revive the country's struggling agriculture. The unattainable quotas, applied uniformly to both urban and rural areas, force people to endure harsh conditions or pay cash to meet requirements. Critics argue that the regime deliberately set impractical targets to extract money from the impoverished population. In 2022, the annual battle for manure production continues, with citizens fighting over night soil to meet the revised quota of 660 pounds or 300 kilograms per person. This recurring struggle underscores the extreme measures taken by the regime to address agricultural challenges, reflecting the dire conditions faced by North Korean citizens. 1. Three Generations of Punishment the practice of kin punishment, evident in various historical and contemporary societies, involves holding family members responsible for the crimes committed by an individual. In North Korea, the three generations of punishment law imposes imprisonment or execution on the family of a political offender. Introduced in 1948, this system operates outside the formal legal framework. Nazi Germany also employed a similar concept called Sippenhaft, where relatives of those accused of crimes against the state were held accountable. In Israel, home demolitions were condemned as collective punishment, especially when targeting family homes of militants. Venezuela has faced accusations of employing Sippenhaftung, with security agents allegedly kidnapping and detaining relatives of critics to secure arrests. Which story from North Korea has intrigued you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.